Hi, and welcome to Drink Some Beer and Prosper. Germany, part two. We sit here at Beer Café Engel in a small town called Furtwangen. And our first beer here is a beer, a pils from Fürstenberg. So uh, let's try this one then. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Very foamy. Very fresh and cold. This is uh, perfect for our summer nights. It is, it is. It's really light though. It's the lightest beer we've been drinking during this trip now. Well, it's a, it is a pill, so it should be quite light to begin with. Not as much of the corn taste. They managed to, to keep that away from this one. Prost, as they say here. Prost. Mm. Ah, damn, I'm thirsty. Ah. Would you say chuggable? This one is really chuggable. As you could see, it was pretty easy to drink. I'm finished already. It has quite, um, I don't know, mild taste. It's not bad, but it's... It's okay. It's something you could drink again. It's not a problem yeah. with that. I, I think I really like it. It's just could have more taste, uh, but it feels really fresh. It doesn't have any annoying, you know, corn aftertaste, uh, which is horribly uh, normal or usual with these kinds of beers. And then we continue with our next beer. So, yeah. So, the second beer. Yes, this is a really local one. It's called uh, Tannenzäpfle. It's made by Rathaus. Tannenzäpfle, I think, is like a... What is it called? I don't know what's it called in English, but this uh, thing's in the tree. <laughs> I don't know what's it in English. It says vom Hochschwarzwald. So it means that it is from this Schwarzwald forest here. Yes. The dark forest it's called. Uh, I heard just from the recently from the bartender that you should drink this from the bottle. It's not meant to be drank from any glass. What it's called? Like trees. <laughs> yeah, it should, I think. So. Let's try it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I like this, it's really mm -hmm. fresh. I mean, this doesn't have a really strong taste, but I think still it tastes a little bit better than the previous one. The water is from 1000 meters high. It's mountain water, yeah. so the water quality should be really good. I guess it must be this uh, very clear and pure water that comes and, from the... Yeah, and by the way, did you know that this brewery is from 1791? This is an old brewery. Yep, but uh, this is Rothaus Tannenzäpfle for you guys. On the next... to the next one. Yeah, next beer run. Hi, and welcome back. This is our third beer. This is a Hefeweizen from Hirsch. So it's time for the wheat beer. Yeah, this is a local wheat beer from 1782. Even older than the previous one. So this is tradition. Wheat beer is a really local pride from the area. So this is like this area's thing. Cheers. Cheers. Smell it. It smells very banana. -y. And you can see the color is also really light and nice. Mm. Yes, real clear banana. Mm. It's banana and light. Banana. Banana, but also quite light. It tastes like light. But it's uh, fresh, you mean fresh? Yes. You're right. I think you drank something like that in, this in Berlin, actually. We were to some brewery bars and one of them, what was it called? This uh, one Eschenbräuen. in the Eschenbräuen in uh, the northern of Berlin. And uh, they also had uh, their own Weiss beer and it's brewed locally. So it has had a really strong and good taste. You tasted it and you thought it was the best Weiss beer I've been ever drinking. I, I think the one in Eschenbräuen uh, had a little bit deeper taste. Yeah, I can agree on that one. It was deeper. So, can I say that I liked it a little bit more? Sure. I would just like to drink this one from the brewer. We can't complain. This is real nice. 
I've been in this place 10 years ago and I remembered how this tastes and I remember it was really awesome. Is it that awesome as I remembered it? No, it's not. Sad to tell you guys, but this is not the magic drink I remembered it was. But it's good. No. Now I would actually say that these brewers versions on this drink is better. But just because it's straight from the brewery. I think this one is the best we have drank today. Oh, there went the lights. All right, as you can see now, we have a new kind of version of the last one. This one is called uh, Cola Weizen. So it's sweet beer with cola. Yeah, they have put some cola into it. Let's taste this one now. It smells more like a cola than that. Yes, combination of cola and yeah, banana. And I, and I know that it's not a lot of cola into this one. It's just no. a slight touch of it. So uh, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. This is yeah. really good. Like <laughs> cola and banana and beer. Yeah, it's, it's almost a different drink. <laughs> yeah, it is. But you can still taste a wheat beer in there somewhere. It's nice. I like it because it's not too sweet, but it's like... This goes into enough. Rodler territory for me. It's, it's not really beer, beery, beer, beery anymore. <laughs> to the Reinhardtsgewalt, this could not be a beer. So you have to call it something else. But it's totally a beer drink. So it's almost a beer. <laughs> In other cultures, this is totally a beer. I think I really like this one. Uh, I would say it's at, as good as the previous yeah. one. This is uh, some really nice culture stuff that you get from Germany. The other ones are copying. This is the original. Cheers! And see you the next time. Let's enjoy this. Ha 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 ha.